What's up guys, Al here from AM Training and in this particular session, every set was a PR. Uh, I did 365 for a set of 5 and um, I did it 5 times, so 5 times 5 and that's definitely a PR for me. I've never moved 365 so easily and let alone every set was a PR. So as you hear, see here, I'm doing a little, I, I have some chicken head action there, some strong chicken head action, but I'm just trying to get some big air and um, as you can expect, every set was a PR, so um, definitely expect some PR dances. I did five sets, so expect five PR dances. Um, I realized it right here that, my goodness, that was a, a PR, so I'll give you a little Harlem shake here. Just a little bit. It was, it's still warming up, but nothing too crazy. So let's go ahead and move on to the second set here. So this is still 365, and um, a couple months ago, actually, 365, I couldn't even do that for a double, so low bar is definitely helping out. And um, even my form here, it feels pretty good besides the whole chicken head thing. Um, I'm actually driving through and I'm trying to tell myself to cue myself to really drive the, into the bar, drive my, my back into the bar so I don't really get that uh, hips raised first, good morning kind of squat. So um, this still felt pretty good. I was actually going deeper in that second set because it felt warmed up. And here's a lovely sea walk just for you guys with a little uh, Generation X if you guys watch WWE a uh, little suck it there but anyways uh, moving on to the third alright guys so by now you guys should be pretty uh, familiar with my squat depth cam and uh, like I said I've been pretty much uh, being a beating a dead horse this is still 365 and everything feels pretty good at this angle you can really see me um, see if I'm cheating or not but <clears throat> I feel like I've been hitting pretty low and I actually feel my hammies on my calves so that's pretty good. It feels uh, pretty strong. I'm, I'm kind of getting the groove back again because um, every squat before was a little bit different. Some would go really deep, some would go kind of parallel. So still uh, kind of getting the groove of this low bar and I think I'm getting the hang of it. And speaking of uh, getting the groove on, boom, check that out. Oh yeah, you didn't know I can do that in Oli shoes. Uh, but you didn't know Oli Shoes can do that. Anyways, um, I think Oli Shoes definitely help out with uh, moonwalking. I'm not sure if uh, uh, there's been studies on that, but let's uh, go ahead and move on to the fourth set here. All right, so I wanted to give you guys kind of a front side view here, um, getting my big air. Actually, my unracking setup kind of changed. I usually do this kind of big air um, where I go on my heels, but um, for low bar, I feel like I didn't have to go on my heels to really uh, get as big air as I could. Um, still hitting good depth there. Uh, the thing that I'm still playing around with is where to grip the bar. If I feel like I should have it closer to my shoulders, a little wider. The wider I go, it's going to feel a little bit uh, harder on my thumb. But since I have wrist wraps here, it's not as bad as if um, I didn't have it and I was warming up. So. Um, Right there, that was kind of a doozy. I was almost gonna call it a day with the fourth set, but uh, I felt like time to, you know, do my PR dance right there. A little bobbing side to side. I'm smiling right now because I see some Myers walking, walking by. I point over, got some Myers walking by at the house, and they kind of looked at me as I did a little side to side shuffle. But um, they were either admiring the squat or admiring the shuffle. Either one. All right, and we ended off with a strong five or fifth set. Um, and like I said, I was talking before is where I place my, my, my wrists or my hands if I should do false grip. I know Mark Ripito is a big fan of false grip when he does low bar. I'm um, still, so I was kind of messing around with uh, the, the width of the grip and also if I should do false grip. Felt a little weird, but I was thinking of trying to make a tutorial on how to switch from high bar to low bar. And um, hopefully I kind of get the groove down and then I can kind of make a, a video about it, how, about converting. Um, but yeah, that was uh, 25 reps all together. <laughs> I try to go classic uh, PR dance, but uh, I was at that time I didn't, I couldn't feel my legs, so that's why I kind of had a little classic PR dance fail. But anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. Train hard, train smart.